Doug with Sound Pure here at the New York AES 2009 trade show. I'm here at the Crane Song booth with Dave Hill, and we're going to talk about the new faders that are working with the Spider and the Egret. Dave? Okay. Well, the, the fader assembly is actually analog in, analog out on DB connectors, and it will work with uh, not only Spider or Egret or actually any analog mix system, you know, passive summing, that sort of thing that you want actually want to hook it into. Uh, and, and basically it's going to have up to 10 dB of gain on it. It has a solo mute bus throughout it and it's expandable in eight channel kind of chunks. Uh, you know, external power supply to run it obviously. It's like about a plus 25 for clipping on it, which you know, gives you a fairly good dynamic range on it. And it's absolutely quiet and crosstalk between channels are like I couldn't measure it. I was like, is the equipment working? Well, it's actually the thing works really, really well that way. Uh, it's PNG, 100 millimeter PNG faders. And as of today, the intention is to keep it just analog. We're not going to deal with the automation stuff. Everybody's got too much automation anyways. You know, it's time for people to get their actual hands on and do something and m make music organic again as opposed to being a computer programmer, right? Exactly. And we're going to see. We're going to see these. Uh, I'm expecting about February, March for a release on it. I have have a couple questions, you know, within my own mind to answer, as far as adding accessories for it for future expandability. And, and the way it's really set up right now is we got it worked out so we can rack mount it. But gee, you know, there's three spaces here. So what might those want to be, right? But you can also mount it so it's shorter and it's just eight channel chunks then that you can bolt together to build a 24 or 30 channel, two channel frame of just faders. Well, we look forward to seeing it. Thank you, Dave.